What's going on everybody on YouTube? Griffin here coming back to you guys with another video. First and foremost, if you're new to the channel and tuning in for the first time, we'd love to have you here. Definitely consider hitting the subscribe button below this video. Make sure you hit the bell icon right beside it. That way you'll be notified every time we go live or upload another video. As you guys can tell, I've been getting a lot more active recently on the channel again. Um, I didn't even realize we had a video a while back that randomly resonated with a lot of you all. Uh, over 3,000 views, it's contributed to a lot of our new subscribers here. And um, as you can tell, you know, a couple years back and way back when we started out the channel doing, um, you know, flipping stuff on Amazon and eBay, then some stock market stuff. And uh, finally, you know, I was finally able to save up enough money and if you don't know the story about how I started the business and all that, go check out that video I was just talking about with over 3,000 hits. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description below. Might even link it, you know, as a card above this video as well. Um, but yeah, we'd love to have you here. And before we get right to the video, we also have a totally free Discord group chat down below. Um, there'll be a link for it in the description box. I don't charge for anything associated with this channel. Um, not looking to like, you know, make a quick buck off of you all or anything like that but uh, we'd love to have you there there's over 200 of us in there i'm in there almost every day now uh, especially in the winter and the summer you know if i'm super busy it may be uh, a day that i don't make it in there but i try to you know get in there uh, as much as i can trying to get you all to talk to each other uh, you don't have to talk to just me of course we're just trying to build a group of like-minded people looking to achieve financial freedom and it doesn't matter if you're you know, looking to start your own pest control business, which I'm sure most of you watching this today are, um, or, you know, investing in the stock market, investing in real estate. Um, it doesn't matter what you do. Ultimately, if you're just looking to achieve financial freedom and grow, um, you know, more independent and not relying on anybody but yourself, um, I think you'll definitely like the channel and like the group in there. Uh, but with that, we'll just go ahead and hop right in to the point of today's video, which is um, kind of like a tutorial, not necessarily like a full in-depth tutorial. Um, I'll have to do that a future date whenever I'm able to kind of make this a little more private uh, in terms of protecting uh, my customers' privacy and whatnot. I already edited like all my services. That's why it kind of looks weird. It says quarterly service over and over and over. Um, instead of you know showing my customers' information, I had to edit a few things so I could do this video for you guys. But just giving you guys just an overall look at um, the Gorilla Desk platform. Uh, if you don't have a CRM software that you use yet for you know keeping track of you know your customers, your leads, your service dates, uh, your money, of course, your sales, just everything. It's kind of a good all-in-one platform, especially if you use their uh, website, you know, creator as well. Um, you know, it, it works very good hand in hand with one another. Um, and what we'll do is, is we'll go ahead and just start right off with kind of, you know, the plans essentially. So the plan that I'm on currently is, you know, just a standard one technician plan. Um, how they do it essentially is each time you add a route, add a technician, you know, you just essentially pay a little bit more for each one. It's roughly like 50 bucks per technician. Actually, it's dead on 50 bucks per technician after your first one. I believe they used to only go up to 20 and now they go up to 30 apparently. So, I mean, you can get a pretty dang good sized company. And I mean, look at that. I mean, it's only 1500 to $1,600 a month. And when you're thinking about the amount of work that every technician is going to be doing, $1,500, I mean, that's less, that's about one day of a full technician route essentially. So very, very affordable platform overall, 99 a month. Um, to get started. They do have a basic plan. Um, I think I mentioned that in one of the recent videos about just Gorilla Desk and um, how I think they're the best, you know, company to use. Uh, they do have that basic plan. It still comes with the unlimited admin users, unlimited mobile devices, job mapping, um, and routing as well. And of course, you can uh, integrate, you know, Square or Stripe. We use Stripe. It's very easy to link those up. Square, um, it was a little difficult when we tried with Square. Um, I heard it's gotten easier, but we use Stripe anyways. It's just the best one in our opinion. Um, and then of course, you have the automated email and text messages available. Uh, the text you do have to pay more for, but I'll get into that here in a little bit. And then of course, your material tracking, which is amazing, an amazing tool because of course, 
in most states that I'm aware of, you know, you have to keep logs essentially of how much chemical you're applying at customers' homes, how much you're applying, you know, in a given year, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Gorilla Desk makes that very, very easy to do with their material tracking. And we'll dive into all this as well as all this because, of course, this is what, you know, what plan I'm on and what I would suggest you go ahead and do. The basic plan is only $49 a month. But in my opinion, you know, if you're already going to be spending 50, you know, what's another, you know, 49, 50 bucks to go ahead and be able to link your QuickBooks, which we do not do. We had a little issue with this and I just, I just don't do it. I just link my bank account instead and just keep track of it all that way. But you can do that as well. If you're like, you know, doing the pay through QuickBooks or something, that'd be an easy way to do that. Um, Stripe subscriptions, which... We actually use the recurring tool within Gorilla Desk instead of Stripe subscriptions, but you could go directly through uh, Stripe as well to do that. Um, and then, of course, GPS device tracking, you know, for if you want to track technicians and stuff. Documents with e-signatures. This is an amazing tool for doing, you know, termite jobs. If you do contracts for bed bug jobs, anything like that that requires a signature makes it super easy um, and mobile friendly. Rating and review generation, another amazing tool that uh, you should all be using. Uh, what we do is we actually double up. We have what this rating and generate uh, review generation tool does is it will once you complete a work order out, like you actually hit the complete button on a job, which I'll show here in a minute, it will send a review request to the email on file. And uh, it's just email right now. They did say they are working on getting it uh, to where it'll do text and email, or like you could pick one or the other, whichever you know works best. I would go ahead and do both because that's exactly what we do right now. Is I'll have that sent out automatically, and then before I even leave the customer's home, I usually let them know if they're there in person. I'll tell them straight up, hey, you're gonna get a text message, you know, with a review request. We greatly appreciate it. It helps the business, but you know, whatever your spiel is for getting a review. Um, but yeah, Gorilla Desk does help you out with that. Super easy to do as well. Uh, customer online portal. I don't really have customers use this. A couple of them do sometimes to like make payments and stuff. But each customer will be able to access the online portal essentially um, if you wish to have that option and then of course commission tracking and then all of your basic features so yeah that's the 99 a month plan of course if you decided to pay one year up front you would get a whole month for free uh, if you ever have you know a big month where you just blow through your expectations and you have you know an extra thousand bucks or so laying around you can go ahead and knock a whole year out of your gorilla desk and get a month for free i do plan on doing that hopefully this summer if things go planned um, but yeah, that is pretty much, you know, how they're billing and, you know, what all comes with Gorilla Desk. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at the overall interface. So when you log into Gorilla Desk, um, your setup will always look like this. It's almost always going to pull up, you know, your monthly calendar to where you can kind of just go through and just look at all of your jobs and all that stuff. Any time off that you want to, you know, put in, of course, you know, we had our, you know, we're having a second baby and uh, we had to do a checkup. So I usually just take the whole day off because I have to go into downtown Dallas for that. So, um, yeah, it, it makes it super easy. And another thing you can do, too, is say that, you know, you want to go into a specific day. You don't have to go in here and do all this stuff. You can if you wish. But another thing that makes it super cool is, like, say I wanted to take off, um you know, the 16th. Well, I could just boom, click on the day and then you can go in there and literally put in either a new job or time off at the specific time frame. You know, say you wanted to add some time off, you know, you can put in your time off, which technicians taking the time off. Is it all day? Is it a couple hours, minutes? Does it repeat? You know, someone have a doctor's appointment every three months or whatever the case may be. Um, you can get very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, detailed, essentially, with everything within this platform. And then to go back, all you do is just go back to, you know, okay, let's look at our month, you know, view again. And then you just kind of go from there. Um, another cool tool is you are able to actually route your work. So say um, that you wanted to go ahead and route some stops. I'm not really going to do that just because uh, that is something that I'm not able to like get rid of my customer's info on. But you can literally go in there and route a specific day. 
You can route multiple days. You can route part of a day. You Again, you can get very detailed with, you know, hey, I want the route tool to, you know, do, you know, let's say Tuesday the 3rd, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stops. I want to know, you know, how much time should my day take so I can let my customers know a time frame. It can set it up. You can even, it, it even factors in drive time based on, I think, Google Maps, if I recall, uh, estimated drive time. You can also add a buffer in if you want to add a buffer for traffic or anything like that. Say, you know, in the morning traffic is always, you know, going to be roughly 10 minutes more. You know, you can go ahead and put it for, you know, an extra 10 minutes of buffer time on top of the drive time. That way you're giving yourself more than enough time. Uh, very good tool. I don't use it a lot just because we tend to use like three to four hour windows. Sometimes I'll use two, but a lot of times, you know, minimum I'm doing is a two, two to four hour window. And unless if my day is just going absolutely crazy, you know, I'm getting there either in the window or even slightly before my window, but it is a very good tool. I have used it on like my very busy days when I'm trying to squeeze in as much work as I can, like near the end of the month or something. And um, just wanting to make sure that it's as efficient as possible. Um, and another thing you can do, you know, speaking of that, is at the very beginning of the month, you can have it route like your whole month of stops and it will actually organize it for you, you know, based on what is the best route for each day. Essentially, you can put in there, I'm leaving the house or leaving the office at this time and I need to be back by this time and it will literally do all of that for you. So again, an amazing tool, uh, part of that. Um, I believe that's on both, if I recall. Um, we'll double check here. Yeah, that is on job mapping and routing is on both plans. So that that's very awesome actually that they're giving you guys that in the basic plan as well. Um, so something to keep in mind there. Um, on to the next thing, um, whenever you pull this up, there is like a main menu that you can use if you wish. I do not use this menu personally. Everything is right here anyways. I like being able to just, you know, it's all personal preference at the end of the day. I like being able to click on the specific one I'm going to look at. If, if you were to click on, you know, uh, reports, it's going to pull up all of these and it's just going to be a giant messy looking menu essentially i don't like it as much personally but again you could look at it we're not going to click on it it's just going to show a lot of customer information i already looked and uh, but you know overall I, I wouldn't suggest using that personally but you do it's all personal preference you can literally see everything you know regardless of which route you go it all shows the same stuff uh, but we'll go into the reports next because this is where i spend a majority of my day whenever i'm actually um on Gorilla Desk because I'm a huge analytics guy. If you're going to be running a business and really looking to grow your business, I suggest you, you know, you don't necessarily have to be an analytics nerd like myself, but you do want to keep an eye on these analytics and have a good idea. You know, if you're going to do some kind of advertising, maybe you want to look at, you know, okay, what are we selling the most of? What is resonating with people? Well, then maybe you'll do uh, revenue by service or revenue by item. Um, and then also another, which we can go ahead and take a look at that, uh, revenue by service, it'll literally pop up, you know, um, additional invoice revenue, which is going to be, um, you know, anything that's added essentially, just like it says, uh, by monthly services, follow up services, initial services, monthly, um, you know, whatever different type of names for plans you have, all of that type of stuff. Most of this is just going to be like monthly recurring revenue, essentially, this early in the year you can go back you know as far back as uh you know you've been with gorilla desk you can update it to take a look at everything um as you can see you know we got a little bit of everything bed bug exclusion work firing at treatments flea services i mean you can literally go through to see okay what are we selling the most of or maybe what are we not selling a lot of but that we want to sell more of you know, you got to get a feel for your market and a lot of it is experimenting early on as well. Uh, but the more that you can make, you know, an educated decision ba um, based on everything available in terms of analytics, the less money you'll burn in your pocket to say the least. And we were talking about, you know, revenue by source, maybe what you'll want to do uh, before creating your campaigns for 2023 is go back and look at 2022 saying, okay, where do we get most of our 
money from. You know, we used a company called eLocal. Um, didn't really like it too much. We used it for like a week and stopped. But it did get us, you know, uh, a little one-time service from a customer. Um, you know, is Facebook working? Is Google working? And by Google, I mean Google organic, not like Google ads. Um, we didn't use enough Google ads last year to really uh, put that as a source, though we do plan on um, doing so this year. Uh, Google Organic, you know, of course, Google Organic's working very well for us. It's actually finally passed Google Local Services. Um, one thing to keep in mind is whatever source you have the customer listed under. So say I were to go add a new customer. Down here, there's the how did you hear about us? That's your sources, essentially. And um, if we did Google Local Services, for example, every time that customer service comes up, it's going to show up in this system as a Google Local Service um, sale, essentially, revenue. Revenue brought in by Google Local Services, which is a double-edged sword because as long as you remember that, like us, I know, okay, we don't really get anything from Google Local Services anymore because they're just ridiculous anymore. They should call it... <laughs> Google Corporation service because all the big corporations have taken over it essentially. Uh, different topic for a different day. But it is cool to like track that progress essentially to see, okay, how is our, how is us pivoting? How has it progressed over the year versus, you know, what we were using before? Um, and back to my original point though, I like using this just to see, okay, where can we improve? Like right now, I'm wanting to improve on our website. Um, our website, you know, it's it's kind of it's slowly but surely getting there. I'm definitely seeing what people mean when it comes to website SEO. Definitely takes at least 12 months in most cases to really start seeing some results. And the proof is kind of in the pudding if you think about it. I mean, we were doing 400 to 200 dollars a month roughly in like website leads, and and part of it too, of course, is a compound effect as well. Um, but as you can see, month over month, you know, it's definitely, you know, trending in the right direction. Another good tool um, for Gorilla Desk, revenue by staff. You know, if you want to, if you have a sales team and you want to see, you know, who's selling the most, who's kind of slacking or like needs some help, um, as well as technicians, you know, what technicians doing the most production, that kind of thing. Um, if a technician, you know, if you're paying them based off production, like a lot of companies do, and a technician is wondering, hey, what am I looking at roughly this month? You can literally go to the revenue by staff. Just another cool tool at the end of the day, in my opinion. Uh, revenue by client, that way, you know, if you see that a client is strictly, say you're wanting to do follow-up with current clients, um, in terms of trying to maybe upsell them on a sale or something, you can go and see, okay, you know, these clients are on just pest control or they're on just termite. How can we, you know, get them on a bundle plan where they're actually saving a little bit of more money in terms of price per service, but we're making more money as a company, that kind of thing. So another good tool there. Um, and then of course you have, you know, your like your sales forecast, which I would love to show you guys, but there's absolutely no way to hide customer information at all on that. Um, but in short, it literally puts a list of all your customers top to bottom, lets you know how many customers you service this year. Um, it goes month by month, you know, for the recurring income or whatever the case may be throughout the year. And then it lets you know, okay, this month you're scheduled for 8,000. This month you're scheduled for uh, 15,000, whatever the case may be. Um, and it gives you a good general, you know, idea of, okay, if I don't sell anything this year, I'm going to make X amount of dollars. Uh, another great tool that I love. Um, total sales. Another good tool um, that you can use for, you know, tracking, you know, any outstanding payments that you're owed. Your total sales overall, so as you'll see, we're uh, just over 6000 on the month. And uh, I'm not feeling too great about that, but we are just halfway through the month, so still got time. Um, let's see. What else do we got? Accounts aging. That's, you know, customers that owe you money, how long they've owed you money. Uh, if you're needing to send collection notices out or anything like that. Um, locations and customers without active jobs. I love this tool as well. I like to hit this list at least once every one to three months. Um, you know, on a slow day, slow week. 
It'll literally just pull up a list of all your customers who no longer have an active job with you. Uh, if you're doing like email marketing, text marketing, usually for me, it's strictly, you know, literally just ringing the people up because I'm a one man show. It adds a little uh, more personalization to it and they're less likely to say no if, you know, if you built any kind of relationship with them, like I push so hard with my company. So if I can get them on the phone, I can almost always get some, even if it's a one time service, just me taking couple minutes to pull up my customers without active job list, calling them up, hey, Mrs. Jones, I see here it's been six months since you had your last service done. I uh, just wanna check in, see how everything's been, how are you and the kids, how's the dog, how, oh yeah, and how's the house? You know, the chemicals only last 90 days. Mrs. Jones, uh, do you think we should go ahead and schedule, you know, a little seasonal treatment? Bugs are about to start getting out. It's, you know, you know how Texas is, by February, March, it's gonna be warm again. You wanna go ahead and get that done? Okay, yeah, yeah, one-time service, yeah, that'd be 250 plus tax. Okay, all right, we'll see you tomorrow, boom. And it's like as simple as that. Now, does that happen every single time? Absolutely not, but if you go through, say you got 50 customers with no active jobs and you call them one by one by one, and you know, out of 50, probably three to five of them uh, are gonna say yes, say your average sale is 150 to 200 bucks per sale, you just made an extra 600 to you know $1,200, depending on how much each service is, and you never know, out of those five sales, there's a good chance that one of them might have termites, might have, might need you know, some type of rodent exclusion work, bed bugs, like you never know what you're gonna run into out here. So what could have been 600 to 1200 bucks just turned into like two to three grand or more um, just by simply you know, taking a little bit of action on your part. Uh, very, very cool tool, I cannot stress enough. This tool uh, will be the difference between you know, this tool and um, this tool, these are the two tools that are gonna be the, is what separates the crowd essentially. The crowd of, you know, hey, I'm just gonna do customers that simply call me when they need something versus the go-getters that actually wanna grow their business, in my opinion. There's, so, there's, just, there's no excuse to not dive into these analytics to see how you can grow your business, in my opinion. Um, and hopefully I've not like gone out of the camera angle or anything. I know I'm kind of moving all over the place. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything. I don't want to make this video incredibly long, but I want to make sure we hit everything. Um, so of course, like we were talking about, you have your material use um, list, which I actually need to update mine in terms of, um, I have like one or two new chemical, or just one, one new chemical that we're using. Um, we're switching from seismic to, uh, what are we using right now? I think it's just called Lambda 9.7, slightly cheaper, essentially same exact product, just slightly cheaper. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you can, you can do all that stuff. Uh, credits for customers, documents, um, I wonder if actually, if I, yeah, and then as for settings, you can set your sales tax rate, all that stuff is super easy in here too. Um, the route optimizer we talked about, review engine. So this is the review engine tool. Go ahead and get that pulled up. So as you can see, I mean, it's super easy. You literally just click a button and it enables it and sends it um, to the customer right away. And you even have your you know, your Google review link right there. That way if you forget it and you wanna send it to somebody directly, you can copy it right there. But that's all you do. So you go to your Google page, you copy your Google review link, paste it in there, boom, you're good to go. You can leave them a review. Um, and then here's all your other settings as well. You know, the customer, a lot of these are, I mean, it's literally just you click it to activate it, you click it to deactivate it. So say you don't want a customer portal, you can turn that off. Um, say so you're not using Square, I should turn that off, but I just leave it on because you never know if you're going to switch back to a company. Uh, track your material usage, DPS tracking. So the SMS texting we were talking about, it's uh, $5 a month added um, plus the price of SMS. I just don't use it because I haven't quite, I mean, I'm getting there, but I have two cell phones now, like I have my personal and then I have my business cell phone. So I just literally like copy and paste the same generic text to every customer and I just adjust the time frame or whatever. But say you get to a point where like, you know, you got a couple employees, full route, whatever the case may be, and you just don't have time to do that. You can do, you know, the $5 a month for, um, sending out those messages in real time straight from your 
Gorilla Desk, and I know a lot of people take advantage of that as well. Documents, I love the Documents uh, tab here. You can actually upload um, your own to Gorilla Desk. Um, the only thing you would have to do is that I believe you'd have to pay a fee. Yeah, one-time charge of $99 if you had like a specific contract. But pretty much all of their contracts, they work great. And you can see here they have a bunch of the Texas-specific ones. Those are going to come with, you know, the Texas verbiage. So the most important one is usually going to be, say, your Texas, uh, we'll just say Texas Termite Service Agreement. So you can see there, you know, it fills in all of your business info. It puts in, you know, the renewal information, what type of, you know, uh, termite you're treating for, all of that good stuff. And then, of course, um, it's got all of the, you know, Department of Agriculture info that it's supposed to have by law in Texas. Pretty much sums up Gorilla Desk. I know this was probably kind of a longer video. I know a couple of you mentioned in the comments that, you know, you'd like the videos to be shorter, uh, but sometimes you just can't. I, I, I mean, I guess I could break these up into like a series for you, but I'd rather just, you know, kind of keep it moving and, you know, just give you all, all the information per video versus making you all wait three or four days um, for each little clip to come out, essentially. So that's the overview of Gorilla Desk. Hopefully, um, you know, it, it is something that you guys will uh, enjoy and help your business. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, they do my website and stuff as well. That's how much I trust these guys. And they've done, you know, good work for us for, shoot, two and a half years now, something like that. So um, definitely let me know. I'm, I'm interested to know. Let me know in the comments if you use Gorilla Desk or if you're um, going to start using Gorilla Desk what you think of the platform regardless if you are using it now or if you're just starting using it and if you have any questions about the platform uh, feel free to let me know in the comments as well or again you can join our discord group chat um, link to that will be in the description box below and um, if you have a question you know about gorilla desk or anything like that you can um, tag me in a comment there on discord as well um, but yeah, no, if you have any other questions or if you have any video ideas you want me to do for you, um, just shout it out there in the comments and I'll get on as soon as possible. And like I said, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely make sure to subscribe below, hit the bell icon beside it. That way you won't miss any future videos or content. We're trying to upload at least at the bare minimum one to two videos a week, if not more. And I'm planning on now that I got my setup back, got my laptop finally fixed, got my mic, got my little webcam, got my OG setup back essentially. Um, I'm planning on going live um, maybe at least at the bare minimum once a week for you guys might be, um, might be starting to do, you know, some of those investing and stock market little live streams that we do from time to time for those of you that I know love those videos, um, so much. So yeah, looking forward to doing a lot more for you guys, continuing to ramp out the content and hopefully adding some value to your pocketbook and your lives at the end of the day. But until next time, guys, keep on going out there and making your profits, Cover your profits, multiplying that money, and achieving the life that you and your family deserve this year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys.